Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're at the greatest muscle car show on the planet, the Muscle Car and Corvette National. And I'm gonna share with you a rare car that Andy has. Andy, your last name? Hanson. Andy Hanson. And first of all, there were only 54 of these cars ever built in a W30, but share with us why this one is one of eight. Well, this is the based on the F85 Deluxe package. So you could get a two-door Post, you could get an F85, F85 Deluxe. This is one of eight F85 Deluxes made. Which means it has no Post, the Holiday Coupe. So let me take you right to the car, our featured attraction. Andy, come right alongside with me and we'll talk about your car. So first of all, how long have you had this one? Uh, we were able to buy it in October of 2000, so 21 years. Wow. And let me just mention while people are here, you can, first of all, one of the interesting things with the W30, and you don't see many of them, is first of all, you've got that vent there, that air intake, and that special, we'll call it turn signal, that's specially designed for this car to give you that look. And the Muscle Car and Corvette National Show has quite a few of these here, and there aren't many left. That's right. So that was the stock turn signal indicator. However, it had to be moved inboard to make room for the outside air induction. And also, when we opened the hood, because of the outside air induction, the battery had to be moved to the trunk. Let's uh, let's take a look at the side. We'll go to that battery in the back, and then we'll come to our coup de gras, the engine, and this car. Now I'm going to step back far enough so you can see this car right there that has a nice stand so what got you connected did you know about the w30 and 66 being this rare or how did this kind of happen for you it didn't start that way but i was uh in high school started with a 72 442 then we moved to a 70 442 then we had a 69 w30 and that's what my now Love of the W30 started. So this was your family's car, your dad's car? No, well, I was able to purchase this car. These were your cars? Before. Yeah, we owned those okay. other W30s. And then I really started to research the W30s, find out that 66 only had 54 cars made. And the timing just worked out where one of the 54 came up for sale. And you were right there to drive. I was thankfully there to get it. Unbelievable. Now this car didn't look like this. To begin with, let me show you the back of this car. How long did the restoration take? So it took us 21 years to finish it. 21 years. Is this yeah. the first time the car is being shown? No, it was shown at the Oldsmobile Nationals in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, uh, a couple months ago. And then this is the second this show. Is the second show. Let's take a look at the uh, trunk, shall we? We've got uh, inside the trunk. We've got a little trunk of treats for you. We've got the W. Uh, 30 information here that's interesting that we'll share with you there with that Oldsmobile script. I'm assuming the gas tank's right behind the license plate? It is, yes. Okay. This may take a moment. That's okay. Take your time. What color of the car? So it's Target Red. Target Red. With a black painted top. And you have everything really specific on this car. I mean, you've got the 115 here or 11.5 or what is that? Yeah, 115. That was its production schedule. And of course, you know, all the uh, instructions, jack instructions, etc. If you look, if I maybe yeah. caught it already, the battery mounted in the truck trunk, so an R69 battery. And now, tell me, this is this is. Tell me about Tennessee. Why Tennessee is? Oh, Tennessee is where we live. Uh, okay. And, and have lived a lot at uh, outside Fort Campbell. So let me have you grab that for just a yeah. second. I want to feature that. Sure. Just hold it like that. So this was the the letter from Oldsmobile asking to build these cars. That's right. That they wanted to make these changes and wanted to make sure that it would be a sufficient quantity to make at least 50 of these. And Mr. Desmook from the NHRA National Tech Director uh, agreed that uh, 50 was the production that needed to be made uh, for them to be able to race. That's pretty cool. All right, we'll put that back. Now, do you know all the other guys who have the cars, or I don't know all of them? No, we're well, meeting no, them right no, here at the show. I know we're meeting some of them here for the first time. I've known some for quite a while. That's great. Really That's right. Great. What a family, right? All right, we'll close that. May uh, May I open it? Thank you.
So we'll share with you the door. Interesting that they've got the wood trim on a really a drag car. I know that's yeah. pseudo, pseudo wood, but right. Yeah. And that's the F85 Deluxe offer some of these interior options. Carpet, but yet a bench seat, no console. You know, really nice seats. I mean, with the little piece of metal in there. Yeah, the buttons. Are... Yeah, those are really, really sharp. We've got the right amount of pedals. I see down there. We have a VIN tag there. Now, this was standard on the car? Yes, for the W30 was the tech on it. That's right. Just like that, in that position? Yes, correct. Wow. You could get them on, uh, you know, you could option it, I think, on other cars. And this is seven miles since restoration. That's right. Double O seven. The James Bond car. How did you find these pieces that that are? Also, most of them came with the car. Thankfully, the car was complete when I got it. Just had to restore it. You'll notice it's radio delete. Yep. No, no heater too, right? It does have a heater. Oh, it does have a heater. Yep. All right. So I'm just gonna gently show up oh, like that. Give you that. And I'll give you that to put back on. And let's take a look. Uh, let's take a look under the hood. The business end of this one. So there is the outside air induction. So you had the three two-barrel carburetors which by itself was called the L69 package. And then the W30 package added to that the outside air induction. And again, where the battery would normally be, it was in the way with the air tubes, bringing the outside air into the carburetors. The, the, the chrome dress-ups were all part, again, yeah, 115 was the uh, line code. one here. Because there's no vacuum in the motor with a fairly low B cam, they could not be had with power steering or power brakes. No power steering, no power brakes. Amazing. The, uh, is that the uh, firewall tag there? Yep, so most of these cars, or all of them, were 06B, so made in the second Let me have you pull that just a little bit so I could feature that. Oh, pull on the, uh, the hose? Yeah, but uh, it won't do any damage to it. There we go. All right. Beautiful. And as I understand it, each one of these air filters is kind of designated as a number to the car. Well, that's how you know, like I said, this is number 27 of the 54. Yeah. So underneath here, which... This is on here pretty tight. There is hand stamp number designating that this was the 27th shroud. Therefore, this has become the 27th. Number 27. So number 11, number 10, <laughs> will all have that hand stamped number. And these shrouds are different than the shrouds that could be bought from the Oldsmobile parts counter. Is that right? Those were called track pack cars. Uh, the number of screws that hold them together was different and they were shaped just a little bit differently. So to get a true factory production W30 has to have a hand stamped number air cleaner with the, uh, with the right shape and the right number of screws. Andy, well let's listen to it fire up. We'll step on the brakes for a moment and we'll let it idle and then we'll give it a good rev and we'll wrap this one up. to it in the back, so smooth.
just so we make sure we get it back. I'll tell you what, keep it, keep it on. Yeah. What a great lope on this car. You can put the baby to sleep on that one. That's right. So I think these are 308 duration, later W30s had a, had a higher duration, like 328, but uh, these were pretty stout for 66. I'm going to let people, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, first of all, Andy, thank you so much for being on the channel. I'm going to actually end this video listening to that exhaust. Thanks so much for being on the channel. I can't wait to see what people think when they see your car. Awesome car. Thanks for being on my car stand. My pleasure. Thank you. Let me listen to that load. We'll see you guys.